Apollo 13 is seven minutes from Earth and may have a damaged heat shield. The crew and Houston do final checks. Okay, go ahead. So, you know, here we are, 30 years old, you know, dealing with this problem of national significance. We trained and thought and prepared ourselves to be able to handle eventualities as bad as that uh, with the confidence that if there was a way to thread through it, that we would find it and be able to make it. The crew also thanks Houston, just in case. Well, all of us here want to thank uh, all you guys down there for the very fine job you did. That's the firm, Joe. I tell you, we all had a good time doing it. With 14 minutes to re-entry, the world pauses and prays. Range to go now, uh, 3,271 nautical miles. Odyssey Houston, your disky is doing all the right. Controllers have done all they can. Okay, thank you. The crew hopes for something they've lacked, luck. During re-entry, the capsule will reach temperatures of 5,000 degrees. That will cause a communications blackout, which usually lasts three minutes. The three-minute mark comes and goes. And then 3.30 passed. And then 3.45 passed. And then four minutes passed. And then 4.15 passed. Odyssey, Houston, over. There were surely people in mission control and in the homes who thought, we've never hit four and a half minutes. It's naive to think these guys are still alive. Specialized tracking aircraft called Araya search for Odyssey's signal. Apollo 13 should be uh, out of blackout at this time. Uh, we're standing by for any reports of Araya acquisition. Houston tries again. Odyssey Houston standing by, over. OK, go. OK, we read you, Jack. That was uh, Jim Lovell responding with the OK Joe. Odyssey Houston, we show you on the mains. It really looks great. An extremely loud applause as Apollo 13 on uh, main shoots comes through loud and clear on the television display here. Apollo 13, and there's recovery, over. NASA will later learn the cause of the agonizing delay. It hit at a slightly wrong angle when it first hit the atmosphere, and that caused the longest re-entry blackout in the history of the space program. The floor of the mission operations control room uh, now crowded, and uh, there are visible smiles on the faces of the flight controllers and astronauts uh, in this room. For eight years, NASA had been shooting for the moon. Little did they know their ultimate test would be reaching planet Earth.